Unless you've been living under a rock or don't use social media at all, then you are absolutely familiar with New York artist CJ and his viral smash hit, Whoop. This drill song quickly rose to prominence after going viral on TikTok and earned CJ a spot on the Billboard charts and praise from his peers. In 2020, the world was on the edge of their seat, waiting to see how Chicago's own King Von would continue to take over the rap game after becoming one of the hottest up and coming artists until he was unfortunately taken from us this past November. Von and his music will forever live on and continue to influence his fans and artists to come for generations, as he truly was a unique talent taken from us far too soon. Von's influence was so prominent that it is already visible with other artists and is actually a huge subject for this video. Now, the reason there is somewhat of a comparison between these two artists is because King Von and Memo 600 had released a song titled Exposing Me in early 2019 with a sample and instrumental that sounds almost identical to the Whoopty beat. King Von's version of the song is not as popular as Whoopty, or at least in the eyes of Billboard, but both these artists having a song on the same beat leaves a lot of room for speculation and comparison, because this is hip hop and something that is competitive by nature. So it's natural that we contrast to compare artists for everything, from their social media presence, to how the streets feels about them, to their entire body of music. My name's Clyde Smith, and on today's edition of Versus, we're gonna be looking at the careers of CJ and King Von respectfully, to look at who the true victor is. We will be judging this based off three rounds of criteria, what the streets and overall culture think of you, your social media presence, and just your overall body of work. At the end of the three rounds, you guys will have your say on who you think won, and there will be a poll, so please vote there and check out other versus battles that we've done in the past. We have also covered the life of King Von extensively on these channels and have multiple charities in his name, so please go check out those videos as they get back to the artist in a good way. Alright, let's get into this first round. Round one, fight! All right, now seeing that these are both artists who make drill music and come from two cities that are absolutely killing the drill scene right now, being Chicago and New York, let's start there. And let's talk about what they mean to the streets and their overall cultural influence. Because, like King Von's close friend G Herbo says, don't matter unless you go platinum in the streets. King Von is someone who is absolutely certified in the streets. After a highly publicized case back in 2014, Von was charged with five counts of murder and seven counts of attempted murder. But in 2017, he walked free and was acquitted of all charges. So that's a solid couple years in prison. And it was said that when the case was going on, Von refused to cooperate with authorities, which means he ain't no snitch and he knows how to keep his mouth closed when he needs to which is more than you can say about some rappers these days. I mean, the fact that he had the chance to snitch and give himself a lighter sentence and didn't do that, truly solidifies himself in the streets. Speaking of snitches, both of these artists have somewhat of an interesting history with 6 9 as King Von was constantly trading verbal blows with Akashi. However, CJ, on the other hand, actually made a song with 6 9 before he snitched. After the news broke about 6 9 snitching, CJ quickly made a diss track dissing Takashi, but honestly, I feel like the damage is already done. Like, you did a song with Takashi, like, there's no going back from that, man. So I think when it comes to what the streets think about these artists, I think King Von wins this by a long shot. And honestly, there isn't too many rappers who would beat King Von in this category. Round two, fight! Now for round two, we're going to be talking more about social media presence. Now I think this category, CJ has a little bit more of a chance as his song Whoopty is an absolute smash hit on the popular social media platform TikTok. The song had so many people using it as a soundtrack to their own videos, doing dance challenges, and whatever it is that people be doing on TikTok. Whoopty also clocks in at around 124 million views on YouTube. While King Von has a collection of popular music videos, some of which went viral, none of them even come close to having as many views on YouTube. Whoopty also charted way higher than any of King Von's songs on the Billboard charts, however King Von did have more songs chart. Look, TikTok is kind of a big deal these days, especially when it comes to these kids, so I think we're gonna have to give CJ the slight edge there in round two. Round three, fight! All right, final round, and this is the most important one. Music, and who has the best body of work? Now, I'm not gonna lie, this is somewhat of a lopsided category for CJ, considering that he is a newer artist and that King Von has really immortalized himself with his music and had a career already. But I do think it is worth talking about. You know, I really do think that this needs to be articulated a little bit more. 
The reason that we loved King Vaughn was not because of the crazy court cases or because of the gang affiliation. It was because of the music. The way that Vaughn was able to articulate the pain that he faced from the situation he was put in and telling stories about being in the trenches and how that affected him and the people that he loves. CJ is a newcomer and doesn't really have a large body of work aside from Whoopty and about five other songs that he's put out in the last three years. CJ's sound is largely drill based, however a lot of people saying that it sounds way too much like another drill artist from New York that was taken from us way too soon with Pop Smoke. When you consider the similarities that CJ has with Pop Smoke's sound and the fact that Whoopty features an instrumental that Vaughn has already made a song to, I think it's safe to say this round is easily won by King Vaughn. So there you have it guys, King Vaughn was the winner in conclusion in a bit of a blowout victory. Uh, but I think we gotta give it to CJ too, the guy is a newcomer and he's going up against a legend like King Vaughn so I think he, I think he did okay. But uh, maybe you guys think differently, let me know in the comment section down below and please be sure to hit up the poll and vote. We are always trying to do more of these versus series as people are always comparing these rappers to each other. So please let us know what artists you would like to see us compare next time. My name is Clyde Smith and I'll see you in the next video. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Now, we drop a new video each and every day, so here's a recent drop that you might enjoy. We handpicked that one for you because if you like this video, you'll probably like that. We also got playlists like over here, so click on that if you want to see a whole list of a bunch of videos we've dropped in the past. And if you're new to the Fame Gang, be sure to subscribe and turn on them post notifications, and I'll see you guys in another video.